Hello everybody, fellow Ambazonians, wherever you may find yourself, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. This is uh, Kapo Daniel, the chairman of the Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform. Today I want to address a very important issue for our people, the issue of Abdul Karim. Comrade Abdul Karim, as you guys know very well, have been a very brave son of Southern Cameroon. Even when he was in Ground Zero, he challenged the oppressor. He called out Moja Moja and threatened him. And uh, that have uh, brought him a lot of enemies because he stand up for what is right. He has been outspoken about the right of self-determination of the people of Southern Cameroons. He has not been shy of his identity and he has been the bravest amongst us all. And today he's in prison for more than a year. Our people are really in pain. I have had repeated messages from some old women in Ground Zero who are asking, what are you people doing about Abdul Karim? So it is something that is a public interest and it's important that our people know. Since Abdul Karim was kidnapped from Bamenda, I've reported on his case, not so in depth because I want to respect his privacy and the privacy of his family. But there is an angle in his life and what is going on to him that reflects on every single Anglophone, every single Ambazonian, every single person from West Cameroon that we need to address publicly. So I will speak for Pigeon because this message is not really for, for, for our people. They hurt me, they know which way it happen. So the thing where they go on with Abdul Karim, this is our brave hero, Nase. The Cameroon government then kidnapped me for inside Bamenda. According to lawyer for Bamenda during that time, and for which we will be here from ye also, we will be put out messages them for people the way they visit for the They will allege, say, they catch in under this same anti terrorism law where they catch all Ambazonians the way they be innocent. They be catch Abobala, they be Jotang, any person, name it, or just name any Ambazonian for prison where you know them. Mancho BBC, Pen Terrence, they catch them under, under the same law. This subvention of state terrorism and all this rubbish there we don't mean anything because what abdul karim is doing is legit he does not even call the name ambazonia he always talks about southern cameroon which is some a name that cameroon recognized so he has been transferred to kondengi maximum concentration camp and for the past one year our people have been worried we have reached out to lawyers who are involved in the case who know about the case without giving specific but which way it happened now say the time we will be meet up Cameroon for negotiation for Canada we will get message from the Cameroon delegation say their Prime Minister won't make them release Abdul Karim and he will release Abdul Karim for for just win our trust maybe we'll not say them be serious which way they do one for them now the first thing that now the sense be tell we I will be approached by the head of that their delegation where it tell me specifically say me will expect that they will release Abdul Karim but they don't release Abdul Karim so the next time we will go for the I personally ask them why they don't release Abdul Karim and I think many other delegates they ask about the case of Abdul Karim why they don't release Abdul Karim and they be tell we say they don't release Abdul Karim because the Cameroon they are military side, their security side, they get some objection. We then also involve diplomats them, diplomatic call and people the way they did for diplomacy because Abdul Karim was also been, uh, as we know from social media on what he says, has also been participating in the Swiss peace initiative. So we have engaged diplomatic people that are interested in justice. I have personally engaged them on the case of Abdul Karim, an innocent person who is being incarcerated away from his family. And the results have always been the same. The detox, the Cameroon military win, the office for this uh, a call, a call. They the object say they no go feel releasey, and it be difficult for me, the politician, they no intervene. And the reason why we they be the game, and the reason why the Cameroon be game for these diplomats them and for the people that will contact them. And it be very important. The Cameroon government, the detox with the call, a call office, now the office was set, the detoxy waiting. The detoxy, the one for interview and for for interrogate, for cross-examine Abdul Karim. That means the one for interview 
for the crime the way they allegedly done committed and he did deny for camp for day. Some information they come say he done barricade itself for Konengi with prisoner. Them. That means say each time when they do one for can take him, then go interview for said he did deny saying they go Ambazonian prisoner, they go block you. Not only Ambazonian prisoners, them, even Franco phone them, they did block say me, they not take it go for day. So what did happen now? I said the Cameroon government it use this one like a motif for keep Abdul Karim for day. And I'm saying my own advice through third parties and other people them, even through engaging family members them around me to advise them on this issue. What keeps people in prison is not the physical fence, it's not the gulags, the warders. It is the law that they have used or misused to keep you there. So no diplomats have been able to make success to release Abdul Karim because the Cameroon government is claiming that he needs to go and have interview first. They need to investigate and cross-check the evidence that they have against him. We all know that they are lied. They are not credible. They are just making excuses. My advice to Aran Giamna say make the Abdul Karim, he go for the set. He already there for Konengi. Cameroon will do anything for you where they want to do him. For set, for inside Konengi. So my advice now say, if he go for that interview, he go take away the ability for Cameroon to make this excuse. Because so long as he did for them now, the Cameroon government, they even use the fact say he did deny or he did resist to go conduct interview as a motif where if he sound reasonable and if he stop any diplomatic or any effort for release Abdul Karim because they holy for a crime where he never commit him, who believe say in a man way a peaceful loving person in the activism and the public statement and the private statements them. so for our people the way they be worried about the issue of abdul karim this is what is happening everybody is doing their best to make sure that he released ultimately all ambazonians we are all in prison in cameroon captivity and we are all fighting for freedom of everybody but those who are directly in incarceration, we care about them the most because they really reflect our reality. Because we walk around, our spirit is, is in captivity, even though our bodies are outside here free. We all feel the pain. We are all not having freedom from the government of Cameroon. So I hope this message will bring some clarity. And it's also going to inject the reality of his situation in a way that it may push him and other people around to, to do the right thing so that uh, Cameroon will not have more excuses. They don't even need one. Abdul Karim is not even supposed to be there in any shape or form. But I just have to inform our people about his situation because it is a matter of public interest and we have to account to our public for such incidents sometime when it is not even convenient. So I hope this gives you peace in your heart and we should continue to keep pressure for all our political prisoners, including Abdul Karim, to come out of jail they don't belong to jail these are family people these are peace loving people who have seen situation that they have to be outspoken about they have not committed any violent act they have not presented any evidence that they have against them because we know when they have evidence they present them out so we we'll continue to apply pressure to the Cameroon government to release this innocent man and every innocent Ambazonians they are having in their keeping god bless you all